Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I am doing an empties video. I don't think I've done one of these since September of last year, September of 2018. I promised myself the last time, over a year ago, that I would not do this, that I would do them more frequently so I wouldn't have such a pile up. But here we are, here we are, it's very heavy. Um, I'm probably not going to talk about a bunch of pro like some products or I just I might have repeats of something and I'll just show it once just so we can get through the video in a timely manner. But um, life got crazy. I was directing a show in September for a competition. And then after that show was over, I took one day off of work and I directed a winter show. And then I went on Christmas break. And then when I came back from Christmas break, I directed Phantom of the Opera. And then after Phantom of the Opera, I went out of state for a wedding and then I came back and I bought a house and then I planned another wedding and then I worked weddings and then I directed another show and school started back and I wrote a show and I directed it. <gasps> I gotta do better. I mean, no I don't, I'm awesome. Here's some products that I used up and I'll let you know if we're gonna be repurchasing again or not. I've got a helper here, and he's very curious about all of the trash we're about to go through. Oh, she's so cute. He's so cute. Look at him. Just look at him. Look at him. Also, um, if you like this really funky graphic makeup I've got going on, I should already have the video uploaded, so check that out. Wait, used up this Joyco Blonde Life Violet Purple Shampoo. Uh, the last time I washed my hair, a couple days ago, I used it, and it does a really good job of like stripping out any brassy tones and keeps things cool. I also have had purple in my hair for a long time now, and it keeps things purple, so that's really cool. My hairdresser, she is awesome. Cayman, if you're watching this, you're awesome. She is a wonderful woman and gave me like a whole bunch of these. So I've just been like, you know, just going through them. I used up this Dollar General nail polish remover. I've already repurchased it. Then we've got two foundations from Sephora. I used them both once or twice, but they weren't labeled on this. So I didn't know which was which and I liked one more than the other. And then they dried up on me, but one was the Milk Makeup Blur Foundation in the shade Fair, and one was the Josie Marin uh, Vibrancy Foundation in the shade something 5, RG5, I don't know. Um, but I guess I'm gonna have to get these samples again because, or get them like in separate little bags so I can keep, well, I guess one would be more matte than Dewy. Oh well. This, I did not use this up but I have repurchased it. I accidentally left it in my car over the summer in the heat and it got all goopy and sticky and it was like making bubbles on my nail polish. You see how goopy and sticky? But this is uh, the Sally Hansen Big Shiny Top Coat and it really helps your nail polish stay on. I've got it on this right here. This is a KL polish and it stayed on. However, this is what the rest of my nails look like. Just very chipped. Um, but everything chips on me. I'm rough, I'm a rough woman, but this helps and it makes it shiny. I have repurchased this. Love this foundation. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. This baby is pretty pricey, but I got it last year um, on sale at Ulta and it is definitely worth it. This is my second one. The first one I got was one of those confetti poppers last year for the holidays, it was like the little mini size. So I was like, well, you know, I wanna purchase the large size. Just finished using it up. People compliment my skin when I wear this. I would highly recommend this. Yes, it cosmetics, confidence in a cream. Skin type, real quick, I have combination to oily skin. I just used this up. This is the Skin Icelandic Youth Serum with Red Algae. I got it in Ipsy. I need to buy this. I need to buy this. This made my skin so tight. And so just lifted. There's cat hair flying around. But um, this is good. This is good stuff. I would recommend this. Speaking of skin, this is a Skin Iceland Solutions for Stress Skin Berry Lip Fix with winter red, winter wintered red algae. Uh, I wouldn't. Mm, eh. This was kind of watery and just made my mouth taste bad. 
This lasted me for over a year. Oh my goodness, this is the Ahava Time to Revitalize Extreme Firming Eye Cream. I've been wearing eye cream since my early 20s because I wanna keep these lids uh, young for as long as I can. I am a contact wearer. I've been wearing contacts since I was 14. And so I'm tugging on my eyes twice a day, putting them in, taking them out, putting them in, taking them out. And that's a lot of stress on the eyes. Um, so I'm just trying to keep my eyes young. And these, this little guy did keep me hydrated. It wore well under makeup. Um, I would repurchase it, but I've got so many eye creams that Ipsy sent me and just different things right, right now that I don't need it again, but it is on the pricier side. I got it on sale at Ulta a long time ago, but that thing is deep and it lasted me, like I said, for over a year using it twice a day. This is the Kiss Jet Dry Top Coat, uh, quick drying top coat. This was cool because I would paint my nails and immediately while they were still wet, I could still put this top coat on and it would dry it right up, but it wasn't as long wearing. I like the Sally Hansen top, shiny top coat that I showed you a little bit ago better. This is the Strivectin Intensive Wrinkle Eye Concentrate for Wrinkles. Um, I just let this go bad. The shelf life on it is only six months. And when I would put it on, it would kind of tingle my eyes a little bit and make them a little puffy. So I don't know. I wouldn't, no, no, I wouldn't repurchase. Really this is the Maybelline Master Conceal. It's empty. It took me forever to get through and it's pretty good. It doesn't get cakey or crunchy or dry under your eyes, but it's not like completely wet under your eyes too. Like it's just good. It's not very high coverage, but it's, it works. It's fine. And it's affordable. No, I would not repurchase because I like my ColourPop and my Tarte and my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Better. Dr. Teal's, you all know if you've been watching my empties for these years, this is my favorite, specifically the Pink Himalayan Salt. This I have repurchased and I've gotten them for family members. It is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. This one is in the shade Blonde, I think. And... It's great because you just kind of comb it through. If you don't want to put um, eyebrow pencil in and you're just like on the go, this is great. And it's very, I think, very comparable to the Benefit uh, Brow Gel, but it's way cheaper. It's like $1.99 or $2.99 or something like that. In essence, it's usually buy one, get one half off, and you can get that really cool Princess Lash Mascara if you're in the market for both. This is the Master Prime Maybelline Face Studio in the Blur and Smooth. It worked well. It's only got a 12 month uh, shelf, well, it's got a 12 month shelf life. And I used it in my makeup kit for my brides, but you know, it's reached its shelf life. And even though it's still there's product in it, um, I don't put expired makeup on my clients because you know, I love them and I want them to be fresh and safe and I just want to use the best on them. Uh, I would recommend that primer though. I would recommend that primer. I still prefer though the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm uh, for brides because it is so long wearing. This is a contact solution by Blink Revitalins. I think this is my husband's favorite. So this is what he buys me. He does like all the grocery shopping and this type, kind of shopping. So this is what he gets us and it works. I don't know what else to tell you. This is an avocado mask. It was great, it was moisturizing, it was very soothing. I got it in Ipsy, it's by Botanic Farm. Probably wouldn't repurchase it because I've got a thousand masks I need to go through. Yay, this is the Pure Romance Shower Gel and Butter Bat, Butter Bath, Bubble Bath in the scent Green Tea. They no longer make this scent, um, but it did smell really good. This body wash is my favorite body wash of all time. I'm a stinky woman, I sweat. I get anxious. I come home from school after teaching teenagers and the smell is not great y'all. It is not great, especially on full moon days. So this really keeps me smelling great for a long period of time, more than Bath and Body Works, more than Soap and Glory. Soap and Glory is my second favorite. I have repurchased this, just not in this scent because I don't make it anymore. Pure Romance. I got a woman. If you want me to hook her up with your hook you up with her digits, information, website. This stuff is good, guys. If you have a Pure Romance consultant, try out this Skinny Dip body, body Wash. It's so good. 
This is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Body Lotion. I use this African black soap on my face. It's what helped me heal my adult acne that I had a couple years back. It really makes my skin look good, but this lotion, it's old. It expired in 20, uh, 2016, yeah, and it's 2019 now. So I found it in my nightstand because I used to get breakouts on my back and I recently got some again and I'm like, huh, oh, probably because I ate pizza. Um, so I was gonna have my husband rub this on and then I realized it was expired. But I didn't go through a lot of it because the it's just the packaging is not great. You literally have to squeeze your entire life just to get something to come out of it. So if they repackage this, maybe put it on a pump, I think that'd be a lot better. But this brand, the African Black Soap line, I highly recommend. This is Dollar Tree Wrinkle Release. I would repurchase it if my Dollar Tree ever restocked their stuff. Every time I go in there, there's no toilet paper, there's no wrinkle release. It's like, there's no toilet brushes. All right, when we moved, I wanted a toilet brush. They didn't have any. I'm like, how many people are out scrubbing their toilets and getting wrinkles out of their clothes right now? Come on. This is the Soap and Glory Facial facial Wash Vitamin C. Uh, this was good. This felt tingly on the skin. This was great. Uh, I'd repurchase it, maybe. I really like my Murad, Murad skincare line uh, for the shower. And then on my sink, I have my little African Black Soap by Shea Moisture. So that's what's working for me, but this is great. This is the Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life. Um, I would not repurchase this. I have more body scrubs that are like just grittier. And this is kind of more on the soft side, but it smells really good. So if you want a gentle body scrub, I would recommend this, but it's just not harsh enough for me. Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Um, I've repurchased these for years, but recently I've gotten into the Juno & Co. sponges, which are a bag here. And I, I don't know which ones I like better. You get more coverage with the Juno ones, so. Pit wipes. Y'all, I'm always concerned about my armpits, so I carry pit wipes in my backpack at school. And it's so well known that the kids at school... For Christmas last year, got me pickles, which I eat for breakfast every day, and pit wipes. Pickles and pit wipes. Um, these are great. This is in the scent of something. Coconut milk, okay? They're aluminum-free. It's effective odor control. Help stop bad underarm smells. And they just pop out like wet wipes. And I keep them in my backpack, and I've repurchased them. And I have them right now in my backpack. And I will continue to repurchase them, especially when I work 12 to 14 hour days and I'm choreographing and directing and reapplying deodorant. It's good to like kind of wipe yourself down. This is the pst. Ugh, there's hair in my mouth. Dry shampoo. Oh my gosh, there's hair everywhere. Uh, this was sitting in my bathroom floor. So there's just like right next to a vent. I would not repurchase this. I'm ride or die for a Batiste. Batiste is my girl. When it comes to dry shampoo. This is the Kroger brand peroxide like hydrogen stuff for your contacts. This is good. You should use this if you're a contacts lens wearer because it strips all the proteins and gross stuff. This is the Ciante London felt tip eyeshadow. No eyeliner. I would not repurchase because I like the Physician Formula One better. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, I used it in my travel bag. Great moisturizer. Would repurchase. Highly recommend, especially if you have allergies or you're sensitive to anything. Clinique, they've got your back. This is the Sexy Hair 460 Blowout. I've used this on my clients. I use it on myself. It's just a nice uh, heat protectant. It smells really good and it's shiny and it's not going to make your hair crunchy or crispy. I would repurchase this and I have. Oh, my favorite foundation of all time, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is in the shade 102. This is my summer shade. I use the same product on my clients and you cannot go wrong. Any skin type I've found works with this. If you're more on the dry side, you know, I just like to put a more moisturizing primer on them or mix in like the Smashbox oil primer into it. Works like a dream. So long wearing. This is Ange ou Demon La Secret by Givenchy. Yes, this is on my Christmas list. I can't even describe this to you. I cannot describe this to you. I want to repurchase it. 
I don't even know if they make it anymore. Look at this bottle. This smell, it's like, I don't even know. This is a Tea Tree Paul Mitchell spe uh, color special, it's special color shampoo. Um, I've already repurchased this in a big, the big thing, and it really helps me because I get psoriasis right here at the base of my skull when I'm stressed, and this has helped a lot. This has helped clear it up. I, it's not an everyday shampoo. I used it every day for a while and it would just get greasy right up here in my roots and I never get greasy. So it's only like a once every so often shampoo, but it works and it makes your hair feel so clean and tingly. This is the Dove. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh my gosh, I loved this. This is the Dove Go Fresh Pear and Aloe Vera Scent Body Wash. This is sulfate free. It lasted forever. I forgot when I was talking about the um, Pure Romance, like this is on the same level as that. I got it at Walgreens. This is good stuff, y'all. Good stuff. Pure Romance is still better, but this is close. This is the Proactive Deep Cleansing Wash. This worked well. Um, I would not repurchase it. I got it on sale at Ulta a while back. Um, but like I said, I still like my uh, Murad and African Black Soap better. Yes, I repurchased these. This is by Skin. You got a forehead thing. You got the honor eye thing. You got the mouth crease thing. I used this on my 29th birthday back in January. And um, it was really fun to use this to pamper myself before going out. And anytime I'm going out, I like to pamper myself with these little guys. They do work. They're amazing. Put them in the fridge. It feels really good. I've already repurchased them. They always are on sale with Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. That's the best time to pick them up. I'm gonna be 30 years old this year on New Year's Day. And you best believe I'm gonna pamper with these guys. Crest Pro Health. Sure, repurchase it, cool. Here is my other favorite body wash. This is the Soap and Glory Clean On Me. Just up here, right? Up here as far as like keeping you smelling good. And it smells amazing too. So sweet smelling. If you get stinky like me at the end of the day, Give this a try, give the Dove a try, or give the Pure Romance a try. This stuff is so good. This is a Catwalk Hot Iron Spray. It's not as moisturizing as the sexy hair one that I showed you a minute ago, but it's better to use on dry hair to protect your hair. Um, all to stop selling this, but my hairdresser still has it, so I need to pick up some more of this. Batiste, dry shampoo babies. These came in like a little Christmas set. Yes, repurchased, yes. We'll continue. Yeah, Pixie Glow Tonic. This, if you have texture, if you get clogged pores, if you're oily, get this. I got this for Christmas or my birthday last year for my sweet, sweet husband. I would repurchase it. It's a little on the pricier side. Right now I'm using something from Marshalls and it's just as good. Um, but this, uh, this, this did good stuff for my skin. Joyco Defy Damage. Oh my gosh. This is what my hairdresser uses on me anytime I get highlights. And it makes your hair feel butt soft, butter smooth. Definitely would recommend this um, shampoo. If you get highlights or if your hair is dry or you do treatments of any kind, like I get purple in my hair, I get highlights. This stuff is so good. She always gives me like free samples of this too, but it smells good and it makes your hair feel really good. This is the Body Boost by Pure Romance. I use this on my thighs. Um, I have very muscular thighs and a muscular rump. But for some reason, there's still some little cellulite bumps rolling around there, you know, trying to peek through. Remind me of all those things I ate in college that I shouldn't have. They're just still hanging on, buddy. So this helps with it. I also like using on the old arms here. I'd recommend this. I've repurchased it several times. Apparently you can use it on like neck, neck flab, which I should probably use. Uh, it's good stuff. Yes. Okay, you guys need to clean your makeup brushes more often. We all do, especially me. When you do, you should use this. If you don't want to spend time like scrubbing them at the sink, which you should do every so often, if especially during like flu season, you've had a cold, get this Beauty So Clean Wipeout Brush Cleaner. It is antibacterial formula and you just spray it on your brush and um, wipe your brush on a paper towel or like an old, uh, an old towel 
and all of the color comes off and all of the germs are killed. I use this for my clients. I use this in my kit. I use it for myself and I just keep repurchasing it. It's from Canada, Canada. So it's a little hard to get, but it'll ship to you. Um, it's a little expensive. It's kind of, it's like 30 bucks. But the reason I get this over like the other popular brush cleaners that are out is because this is paraben free. Morphe setting spray, continuous setting spray. This stuff is great. I've already repurchased it. You see that fine? Well, that's why I, it, it's like a fine mist. Like you don't have these big, it just melts everything in, melts your powders in. I use it on my brides. It's wonderful. I've repurchased and I will continue, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Morphe. If you've been watching me for a while, you know this is the only deodorant I use. Arm & Hammer Essentials Deodorant, the natural, fresh. It is no aluminum, no parabens. And this is all I use. It's the only thing I can use. This was great. This is Dermacol, which is a Czech Republic brand. And it is Defense and Detox Micellar Lotion Water. This cleaned my skin really well. My sister from Czech Republic brought this to me as a gift and I used it all up. I would repurchase it. I think I like the Pixie one better, Pixie Toner, but this is good too. Soap and Glory Righteous Body Butter. This smells so good. I already have repurchased it. I have one in my nightstand. It is amazing. Yes, the scent is so unique. People will be like, you smell good. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge actual like container. So yes, I've repurchased it already. It's great. My mom uses it. Here's another love story skinny dip um, bubble bath shower gel. And this is in the scent love story. That's my favorite scent. That's what I always repurchase. It's just such a warm, <laughs> there's cat hair everywhere. Such a warm sm smell scent. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen this in forever. I want to buy this. This is the Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. My husband gets really cracked skin in the winter and he used this last year and it helped him so well and it smells like you could eat it. I want to repurchase this. I want to repurchase this. I have to watch this video again when I go shopping so I can repurchase this hand cream. Wow. This hand cream was good too. I think I got an Ipsy or something. It's delectable and it's the lemon and cream hand cream. Whenever I would wear this, I wouldn't think much of it, but my husband would touch my hands and he'd be like, ooh, you're so soft. So, I mean, if this gets me compliments from my man, I'll repurchase it. This is the NYX brush cleaner uh, shampoo. It was okay. Mm. Oh, I forgot about this. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This is great. It's got rose petals in it. I got it at Sephora in the checkout line. It was just sitting there and I'm like, you know, I'm going to try this. Um, This was great. I would repurchase this. It's kind of expensive though, but maybe if they have one of those sales, I can repurchase it. This is a Clinique eye makeup, eye makeup remover. It's good. Um, I like the Garnier just as well, and the Garnier is generally cheaper. Oh, this is the Mermaid Skin Serum by Tarte. This stuff, it's got hyaluronic acid in it, and it is good on the skin. Your skin feels like a butt of a baby. I would repurchase it, but it is so expensive from Tarte. So I'm just going to kind of wait until one of those kits that has this in it go on sale, and I can snatch it up there. Tarte has really good skincare products. Yes, Micellar Water Garnier, I've repurchased it. It's the pink cap, love it. Yeah. Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream, people love it. I thought it smelled weird. No. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. This is my favorite brow pencil of all time. Um, I will continue to repurchase it, but I'm going through like my Benefit right now, and then I've got an Anastasia one to use. So I don't know if I have any backups of this, but I would, I would recommend it. It's more of like the harsher, it's not so pointy, it's just kind of more like square, but it's great. It's supposed to fit everybody's coloring. I don't know. Catrice Dewy Setting Spray. Love it. Reef purchased it. Great price. Makes your skin look gorgeous. Yes. Recommend. This is my most favorite eye cream I've worn in all of my days. This is Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. I love this. I want to repurchase this. Yes, 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 yes. It's brightening, it's hydrating, it doesn't irritate my eyes like some eye creams make me puffy and swelly. 
This is good stuff, y'all. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Fairy Lights version of mascara. I always have this thing on backup. This is my favorite mascara of all time. I'm wearing it today. Yay. This is the Tarte Maracuja Neck Cream. This stuff makes me break out. It's weird. This is the Tarte, uh, I think it's the H2O something, Drink of H2O Moisturizer. Very good, but very expensive. I will not repurchase this because I like my uh, Rose Hip Seed Oil Moisturizer and my Clinique and It Cosmetics Moisturizer better. But this is good. If I can get it on sale, I'll get it. Oh, I loved this. This is the Dermacol Lady Cream. It smells good. Super hydrating on the skin. I would repurchase this. My sister gave it to me from Czech Republic and this is great. This is the Laneige Moisture Cream. It's very fancy. I got it for free or a sample in Ipsy or something. And I guess it was okay. No, I wouldn't repurchase. This is the Becca Shimmering Illuminating Backlight Filter Primer. Yes, good primer, good primer. I've already repurchased. This is the Tatcha Water Cream. Okay, this stuff is expensive and it was good, but I think I like my cosmetics one better. This Wonder Beauty Glow, Glotion, Lotion, Illumin, whatever. This stuff was good. I would repurchase this. I like Wonder Beauty. I don't have a lot of their stuff, but everything I've had from them so far has been great. This is the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in White Russian. This is really popular on YouTube years ago. I had to get one for myself. I used it and every time I used it, I was just feeling like so juicy. I would repurchase it and I think I have. It's great. This is a little baby mini uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I like to use this on my brides for their lids and um, it's just a perfect size for my kit. I've already repurchased a little baby one as backup for my kit. This is the Ren Ever Calm Global Protection Day Cream. I liked this. This was great. I would repurchase it if it were on sale, okay? Because it's kind of pricey, I think. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. This is the best primer for your eyes I've ever used. Um, I would not repurchase the original. That's what this one is because I like this one. I think it's an Eden. It's like the cream tone one and it really covers up my veins. So I'm going to continue to repurchase that one. This is the Ordinary Rosehip Seed Oil. Um, oil. And I got this for my grandma for her birthday. She loves it. I love it. You put it in your hair. You put it on your skin. And I am just waiting to go through some of the moisturizers that I have on stock right now before I repurchase this. But... This is good stuff. I recommend it for any skin type. This is a Clinique Fresh Press Daily Booster. It's like a vitamin C serum and you put it in with your moisturizer. This stuff was great. I like their vitamin C line. I would repurchase that for sure. Um, and then this is the Skin Fix Mint Watermelon. This stuff's great. It's very natural. Um, I would repurchase this. You can get it at Ulta. I think their whole brand is like all natural and it's real cute and nice. This is the MAC Natural Radiance. Um, like primer, this is good. I would repurchase it if it weren't so expensive. Okay, that completes this video. I've got other little odds and ends in there, but I'm not gonna show them. It's like little perfume samples. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you like hanging out. I appreciate you and have a good night, bye.